Two innocent people are dead this afternoon after a chase ended in a violent crash. The driver was caught, but now two families are in mourning. It happened in Inglewood at Glasgow Avenue near Olive Street. KCAMI's Jeff Nguyen is live at the scene with a deadly crash caught on camera. Jeff? Susie, a few minutes ago, this candle was dropped off by all of this broken glass that was left behind. After a pickup truck blew through the stop sign right there and T-boned an innocent couple at this intersection. The impact sent their car onto this now bent post that's made of concrete and steel, but things did not end there because caught on camera, the suspect was seen trying to run off on foot. Security video captured the deadly crash that sent tires rolling down the street. Then the suspect could be seen running as a police officer goes after him. The images were from Daniel Marlowe's camera. Oh, it's just horrible. I think a reminder just in terms of when you're when you're being really reckless, uh, you know, sometimes the ramifications uh, or consequences can be so much greater. The collision that killed a man and woman in their 20s was captured from another camera at a nearby business in Inglewood. A white car was T-boned by a pickup truck that had been the focus of a police chase. William Cole heard the crash and ran to help. The car was just mangled shut. They had to cut the car in half to get the people out. The CHP initially tried to pull the suspect over after they say he ran a red light. He's been identified as 42-year-old Gustavo Ruelas Jr. of Inglewood. That this pursuit only lasted uh, no more than a minute. Jim McDonald is the former L.A. County Sheriff, Long Beach Police Chief, and second in command at LAPD, who now runs his own consulting firm. Is it time to perhaps re-examine the guidelines and policies for pursuits and is it time to change them? We have done that over the years many, many times, uh, particularly as it re relates to pursuit tactics, uh, to, to the pursuit initiation. He says in recent years there have been more calls from supervisors to back off chases or end them altogether because one in four ends in a crash and one in a hundred results in a fatality. We have a uh, responsibility to take someone off the the road to take them into custody if they're endangering the public. Back at the intersection, a business manager who gave a security video says seeing the suspect run while two people were left to die angered him. This is my neighborhood because I work here. So and it's it's sad that it's something like this that happening here. And the CHP says that Ruelas was captured and arrested after a foot chase. They are now waiting for test results to see if he was on drugs or drunk at the time of the crash. We're live in Inglewood, Jeff Nguyen, KCAL 9 News. Jeff, thank you.